So hi everyone, I haven't played Minecraft in years. I noticed last time when I very briefly logged in, there was all kinds of new stuff in the world. I've just created a brand new map. I just thought I'd go into it and kind of see some of the changes. This is quite a big moment for me, I guess, because I've got no idea what to expect, to be honest. I saw all kinds of crazy stuff like uh, a load more fish and seaweed and all kinds of coral and stuff. So I thought I'd um, start a new game and just see where we go with it. Probably gonna edit it quite a lot and skip forward. So we've got some good Arcasia wood here. So guys, I've opened my inventory and it looks like this is me up here. So I don't know what happened to Steve, but he's clearly gone. Just got a few saplings guys, so I can plant another Arcadia tree if I want to. Oh wow guys, so I've noticed there's all kinds of fish here and there's squid and there's all kinds of interesting stuff, so... Oh, I noticed there's a rabbit over there, guys. Rah, guys, there's some nice flowers or poppies or whatever they are around here. So, oh, they are poppies. So I kind of figured I'd collect a few. So I'm collecting some grass, guys, because I figure that it'd um, be kind of good for farming later on. Oh wow, so we've actually found a person. A sort of uh, sand person. <laughs> Ooh, I don't think he likes me very much. Ah, we found the first zombie, guys. Ah, so there appears to be some kind of zombie cave down here. Ah, jeez. Really don't want to become, like, dinner for these zombie guys. Wow, this village is amazing, actually. Look, they've got babies and kids. Oh, jeez. Didn't mean to. What I mean, he likes me now. Guys, I've just discovered um, a bed here, so I think I've set my spawn point to this um, to this little village here. Now, one of my problems with um, villages in the old game was, well, eventually the villagers would die. You know, they get attacked by a zombie or something and then you just get a deserted village so i really hope they've kind of improved that i also noticed right here there's um a lovely um amount of water and there seems to be a dolphin wow that's amazing oh and he said hello to me so guys it's day two and i'm back in the village which i found and i'm sort of thinking well going to explore the village a little bit so oh a smoker that's interesting perhaps we'll have to catch some fish and see if we can smoke them stone golem right i think these guys are peaceful unless you attack them but i hear they're um i think they drop iron ore or something again i don't know if that's hay for a cow or something Wow, guys, so I've just noticed this um, object called a composter. That's really awesome, actually. However, I just accidentally um, composted my only beetroot seed, so um, now I'm pretty upset. <laughs> I'm thinking, right? Oh, I've just discovered a chest and it's got full of, it's full of um, nice things. Excellent, guys. So we've got some iron leggings, which will, you know, help protect me <laughs> with my strange t-shirt. I'm thinking, why don't I just make a little village here? I'm thinking, why don't I build a house in this village here? And that could be my, um... And I could be like the village protector or something. Wow, guys. So, again, I've just found another house and look at all this great stuff. Some cactuses, there's some bread, even some wheat here. 
that's kind of lucky because I could actually really do with some bread at the moment. I might use the last two iron to actually make a nice little hoe. So guys, um, I've got this scary cave here and I'm just thinking, right, I'm just going to block it off for now, which should hopefully um, prevent any sort of creepers from coming up and getting me. <laughs> Whoop, guys, it's um, one of the explodey guys. Uh, creeper. I really don't want to mess with Creeper today, so I think I'm just going to run and sleep for the night. If I can find a bed somewhere. Ooh. Okay, and it's morning. Oh dear, I don't think um, I've made a left a way to get out of the house, guys. Gonna have to punch through this wall here. Oop, it's a creeper, guys. What happens if a creeper explodes in the Iron Giant? Oh, well, we'll never find out now, huh? Honestly, I feel like I'm a menace in this town. Everything was perfect till I came along. So guys, I've just had a new idea. I wonder if I should just build a sort of jetty out to sea and just live on that. So I think I should probably build it out of wood. So I think I'm going to build a very basic mine down here. Oh wow guys, so the rock around here seems to be red. That's interesting. Okay guys, so I've made a stone axe. So I'm thinking I might chop down some of these trees and get some wood for the jetty then. So guys, one thing that's kind of important is if you chop down trees in Minecraft, right? Even though the world is technically kind of infinite, I always like to replant them because you never know if you want to come back to this forest in a little while and get some more trees, right? So you got to be sustainable, guys. Remember that. <laughs> right, guys. So I'm still near the village, but I found a little underground area and it's full of coal, so that's going to be really useful. Okay guys, tomorrow is going to be the day I start building my little um, house on the water. So I'm going to get a good night's sleep and start early tomorrow. So guys, this area here looks freaking amazing. So you've got a nice forest in the background and you've got your nice village over here. So yeah, why not? Let's, uh, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna craft some planks, which will come in useful. Sounds like there's some creeps underground here, so I might have to have a little look and sort of excavate because I won't be able to sleep at night. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, that's... I don't know. Higher is better, I guess. Oh. 
So guys, I've made a chest because I'm thinking I've got a lot of stuff here. And I'm actually thinking, why don't I build my house out of glass? That'd be cool, right? So again, I've built um, a little oven here, a little furnace. So I'm thinking, right, let's get some of my coal, stick it in the furnace, start producing some nice glass. Also thinking maybe I'll go underground, so I'm gonna need a sword of some sort, I think. There we go. And let's just uh, deposit a few things in here. So again, guys, here's a um, kind of fairly scary-ish cave. I'm thinking, look, nice supply of um, coal here. So I've kicked some guy out of his bed and I've kind of stolen it now. Ah, here we go. <coughs> ah, guys, so I've gone caving again and I'm a bit worried now because... Oh, jeez. So, guys, I'm thinking I need some uh, food and I don't really have any. So... Why don't I make a sort of hydroponic farm under my house? Now you might be thinking light, but I'm thinking I could just put some torches down and that should be fine. Okay guys, I um, had a little bit of a break and I'm back, so I think I'm gonna plant some more of these um, sugarcane because they're really useful materials for books and whatnot later in the game. So I'm gonna plant more up of those. So guys, um, I found a pig and I'm kind of in the need of, um, kind of need some food. So I think I'm just going to slaughter poor piggy here. Get some bacon. A raw pork chop, <laughs> just for one. It's not the best type of, not the best food, I guess, but it'll do. Oh no, it's getting dark already. Right guys, so I've just turned some hay, or actually some wheat into bread, so now I'm healing up. I'm thinking, just before I do anything more, I'm just going to do a bit more on uh, my agriculture, right? Well, guys, it seems I've got some uh, visitors to my little agri agricultural centre. Uh, some friendly dolphins.
I like the little sound effects they've added. everyone how's it going hey everyone how's it going so i've decided what i really need is i need to get some lava and that will enable me to make loads of glass because lava's got so much energy so i built a little hut here and it's got a sweet little door and i'm gonna dig down pretty far and hopefully get me some nice lava Unfortunately, the floor is made of sand at the moment, so I'm sort of trying to uh, deal with the sand or get below it. Ah, seems like we've finally broken through. Let's see. Ah, so we've got some nice coal here. This is normally how I mine down. If not, I kind of mine in a sterile pattern, um, spiral pattern, but this seems to be um, fairly good. Oh, my stone's getting more yellow. Probably means I'm sort of transitioning to a different area. Which is good. guys so we struck some ore down here which is good because i really need some ore right so three ores will be get us a bucket it also means we could get some improved tools which will make mining faster it's well worth actually having the best tools you can possibly get guys i mean i'll stop a diamond but uh definitely you know your pickaxe should really be made out of ore um if you've got it spare But remember, if you're going to make little pockets like that, you know, make sure they're well lit so you don't get any nasty surprises or nasty spawns. So guys, I've just put my iron ore on to cook. So I should get me some nice iron to play with. Ah, guys, I've found some redstone. Might need a better axe to kind of pick it up though. Ah, uh -huh, here we go. Sweet, so we've got a better axe and I can hopefully mine some redstone now. Sure good experience and redstone is kind of useful for building things. Oh, 
Ah, jeez. Guys, our mission has been kind of successful. We found some lava, which is exactly what I wanted. I'm kind of glad that I didn't actually burn me up. Now, look, we've got a lot more iron ore, guys. I think I'm going to build a little bucket, which will be very useful for picking up some lava. Sweet. So I think I'm going to dig up a little bit. Hopefully there'll be no lava on top of me. I think there's some water up there. Ooh. Please don't tell me it's destroyed the lava. That would be really inconvenient. Huh? What the heck is that? Better get some air, guys. That was close. So I've got no idea what that is, guys. I've never seen anything like it. Okay, guys, so I've just looked it up and it seems like magma blocks um, occur naturally and they're fine, but just don't tread on them. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Here we go, guys. Got a bucket of lava, which is pretty sweet. Now, what I do, I put the bucket of lava back in my inventory, because otherwise it'll burn me. So, it'd be good to have two buckets of lava, to be honest, because they don't last forever. However, what I'm actually gonna do is, okay, I put this particular bucket of lava in here, and I'm going to bung in some sand. Now, the bucket of lava will contain approximately 100 charges of fuel, okay? So that's enough to convert a lot of sand to glass for our building. Okay, guys, so our mine was successful. We found what we wanted, which was, mag well, lava blocks, and we also discovered magma. So, again, this is all about, this is all pretty amazing stuff, guys. Wow, guys, would you look at that? Our little hydroponic farm is looking beautiful, actually. Look at all that food and all that seed. You can basically make um, an almost infinite amount of food this way. Someone struck me with an arrow out here. So again, guys, um, I'm gonna need a lot of glass 
so that means I need a lot of sand. So actually I'm thinking if I put a few more blocks in here, then it means I can gather up sand more quickly. So I've got a nice iron shovel. In fact, I've got two. So I'm just gonna harvest some more sand, which is fairly quick. So guys, I've got my bucket of lava here and I've got 64 sand. So that frees up the bucket and that'll carry on producing um, glass for me to use. And maybe I should start building my building, I guess. Also remember underground guys, we were also producing a whole bunch more sand down there. Well, glass. I'm going to put in some stairs at some point. So I like to build buildings, generally speaking, symmetrical. We've got two out and three glass. Just go full glass, shall we? that look wide enough to you guys? Should be, shouldn't it? So we've still got quite a lot of wood, guys. I'm going to build um, a little staircase coming up. Might actually make it wider. But let's just um, get the basics done for now. should do us for now. Or might need more, possibly. See how it goes. I haven't counted these. Oh. I was at the wrong angle, guys. Oh! Are we going to need two more? That's a shame. We need some kind of railing at the end here. What do you think, guys? Something to work on. So, guys, it will take with the doors. Can't deploy it on that block. Oh, they look really horrible. <laughs> I'll just leave them for now, I think. Thank you. 
get them perfect later. So again, this method of building um, saves um, a lot of blocks, guys, because you don't need to worry about the blocks underneath. So it does save on space. So you guys can probably see we're going to need a lot more glass than this. Lava, let's stick some more sand in. Actually, I should probably bring most of the goods up to the top, shouldn't I, guys? And if we can expand this a little bit so I don't bang my head for every time, be nice. <laughs> Sweet, we're down to the bottom layer. And... Wow, it's still producing, guys. Kind of impressive. But again, we're gonna get a bit more lava, I think. And again, move the lava pot so you don't accidentally burn yourself. I was kind of lucky I didn't actually see any monsters. <laughs> I said, get out of bed. It's my bed now. But you set well on the floor. There we go, I fixed your place for you, Mr. Dude. Mr. Snoosh. <laughs> Guys, it's looking kind of good so far, don't you think? I think we're going to keep up the reverse pyramid. Look, I think... Goodness, I fell into water or not anything more deadly. <laughs> oh, 
But guys, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. So it's 16 blocks across, right? So, yeah. Two, three, four. So many blocks wide. Six blocks wide, so about halfway there, I think. So guys, I'm literally living in a, a glass house, so I better not throw any stones. I, I knew that was happening too. You know, I used to build skyscrapers right up to the sky and I never fell off. It's kind of amazing. I think I've lost some, some agility in my, in my advanced years. <laughs> oh dear. you guys been anyway i i don't know <clears throat> i've kind of been well i don't really mind for lockdown so much because i i don't know i i guess i've been fine just entertaining myself with electronic media like um minecraft and stuff but i guess a lot of people aren't really used to that but yeah, do let me know in the comments how you guys have been getting on. Also, do you like this video? I don't know how much people are going to watch of this uh, video or not, but I I always liked Minecraft, you know? And I did so much when I was, um, well, I say younger, but I guess I was a bit younger, but I built skyscrapers up to the maximum high. I um, built massive underground biomes. I did all kinds of amazing stuff. And to be honest, I kind of wish I was making videos back then, though most of it was on the Xbox 360. Anyway, guys, do you know what I'm thinking, right? We are not actually <clears throat> producing stuff fast enough. <clears throat> Glass, sorry. So I think I'm going to um, actually expand um, and build another um, forge here because we've got a lot of um, energy. Mm, dropper, that's interesting. Shears are so useful, guys. I think I might have to build some shears at some point. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Where's my blocks gone? Oh, here we are. There we go. <clears throat> a bad throw today. So now we're processing a lot more quickly and I'm going to go up the top and even get even more lava. So guys, I'm going to need a lot more wood to finish this build, I think. <clears throat> I can leave the exterior as... Uh... I 
If I could leave the exterior as glass and have the interior as wood, I think that'd look really nice. <clears throat> Get out of bed, lazy! Get out of bed! <laughs> this is my bed now. <laughs> oh, these poor people. <laughs> the noise you make when someone kicks you out of your bed. Aww. Aww. I think one more tree or one or two more trees should do it. Like, what happened to my sword? Ah. Here we go. I wonder if I could get him to destroy a tree for me. It could just kill me, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Mr. Boomy. And blow up this tree. Oh, he wants to. I'm trying to. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Yes! Well, it kind of worked, but also left a massive hole in my ground, I guess. <laughs> I suppose I'll fill that in so it doesn't look so weird. Yeah, good, doesn't he? <clears throat> so his explosion radius wasn't as quite, quite as big as I'd like, but I guess um, it's um, better than nothing. <laughs> and our axe is almost out of axiness. Don't. Probably some over here. <clears throat> I think it's almost time to harvest my crops, guys. Lots and lots of food. So this is how we harvest the food, okay? Well, okay, for a start, turn off auto jump. It's kind of good sometimes, but it's kind of annoying other times. Uh, controls, auto jump off, there we go. So what do we do? Now, bear in mind, a lot of this is going to go to the bottom of the sea, which is why I should really expand this and make it a bit bigger. But... This will do for now. <clears throat> really want to get more beetroots growing, guys. These wheat seeds, here's beetroot seeds. Let's just get those down. <clears throat> Some now more wheat seeds.
Awesome. I guess I could just pick up the rest. I'll tell you what I'm going to do in the future, guys. Right. Um, obviously finish the house, but I'd love to get on a boat and uh, go out to sea and find some exotic fruits and vegetables and trees and herbs and sort of bring them back like, uh, I don't know, Darwin or, you know, one of those old sort of explorers or something. I sort of went away and discovered potatoes. Wow, that would be something, wouldn't it? So as you guys can see, um, you get so many seeds from the um, mature plants that, um, well, it's just great, really. And the blocks of water are actually underneath these. So they'll kind of keep the whole thing kind of fresh and watered. We really need to move the storage area actually inside the house at some stage, but um, a little storage area will do for now, I guess. Right. A bit more sand. We can stick the sand there and the lava there. Excellent. Eh? My mouse is broke. Does that sometimes. So what I'm thinking, guys, is put some... S I'm going to plant my cactuses, actually. So we've got all that wood now. So that'd be great for building a house. So if I go get the um, glass from underground, then that should actually uh, be enough glass, I think. For 2005, thereabouts, to 2020, well, cultural innovation has pretty much stalled. For the last 15 to 20 years, the corporate music industry has continued... <clears throat> okay, guys, and we're back to our lovely house. Or well, soon to be lovely house. So, we've got loads of resources here now, so there's no excuses. Huge quantities of glass, right. So, I think this area here is going to be our... I'll tell you what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to build the upstairs out of wood and the downstairs out of glass. I'm sort of thinking, well, why not? Um, so... What are we going to need? We need lots of this stuff. Sweet. And... So, that's two steps up. Hmm. I want two steps here. This is our second floor then. gonna stay in my house guys I don't think anything's gonna spawn anyway we need to go up one more flight of steps I think Ooh. 
Oops. So I guess I'm kind of fussy about the stairs. I realise I don't need to do this, but... Kind of like a nice solid foundation, I guess. Huh. Right. And then we're on the wood layer. So the wood layer is going to be uh, bedrooms and cozy areas and that sort of thing. Oh. So guys, um, I've got a nice load of glass here. I wonder if I should just finish off the roof in wood. I, I don't know. Hmm. Could use more glass, I guess. But we already use so much glass, you know. It'd be nice just to have a nice sort of uh, roof, don't you think? I think I think it'd be nice. So this is how I normally build a roof, guys. Kind of make it a bit like a ma like a witch's hat, a sort of cone. Well, a square cone. <laughs> when I just have it going all the way up like that, so it does look quite good. Now, guys, I'm sort of thinking about just um, finishing off with a bit of a sunroof here, just to let a bit of sun shine in. Plus, I've got the glass, so I figured, heck, why not? Yeah, with one left over. I think that's quite impressive. Now, one thing I do need to do on the roof is I need to... Oops. Now, one thing I do need to do on the roof, guys, is I need to load it up with torches, right? Because if you don't, well, you really don't want, like, anything nasty zombie, like, spawning on your roof. Also, it looks quite nice, so... This is what I normally do. I normally build, uh, but more on the edges here. This should just um, help stop any nasty enemies spawning or anything like that. So if we could try to get it symmetrical, that'd be great. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five. Oh. I'm not going to bother on the middle bit. They're running out of torches. There we go. Lots and lots of light everywhere, so nothing will spawn up here. And there's no real good way of getting down apart from jumping in the sea, maybe. So, if we can land on a fish. Whee! Ooh. Hey, fishy fishies, don't worry, I won't eat you. <laughs> Got plenty of wheat. 
So that's it, guys. What do you think of my um, floating house? A floating glass and wood house? I think it's pretty sweet, actually. Like I say, you probably need to do a bit more with the interior. So I guess I'll take this bit out and move it upstairs. So this is my floor for doing things and storing things, um, mostly along the back wall. I need to make a few more torches, I think, just to keep the um, enemies out. But I think that's pretty cool, actually. Thank you. 